Hello beautiful souls, in today's reading we are about to take a look at mind illusions versus reality and we are about to see what illusions are hiding behind the reality. So I will use my tarot deck and try to figure out what is the case with your connection. Let's proceed towards the reading and find out what messages we are about to get. Alright, so in order to determine the piles I will use the animal spirit deck, the wild and unknown animals. So let's see which animal spirit is going to represent pile number one. For pile number one we have the dragonfly, okay. Let's see which animal spirit is going to represent... Okay, the card just jumped on its own. We have stingray for pile number two. And let's see which animal spirit is going to represent pile number three. And for pal number three, we have the tiger. So just use your intuition in order to know which card is going to lead you towards your reading. And if it helps, you can also think about the person that is on your mind in order to just, um, just uh, intuitively be guided to the right reading. I will give you a few seconds where you will see the cards in a bigger screen and you will have the option to choose which pal is yours. So I'll meet you in your reading. Okay, they're pile number one for those of you who have chosen the dragonfly. Well, interestingly enough, the dragonfly is symbolizing, symbolizing illusion and mind at the same time. So it is coming right on the... I mean, it is uh, right on place for this reading. So having the dragonfly, I am sensing some kind of positivity here within this connection, but at the same time... There are things that need to be spoken because we have that uh, uh, bluish triangle which wants to indicate something regarding the throat chakra. So maybe there are things that are not uh, set here. Maybe there are things that are a bit... Um, well, things that are left um, silent, things that are left unclear and uncertain. So I will just put this card and proceed with my Osho's and Tarot and see what we are going to get regarding this connection. Just bear with me until I take out all the cards. Okay. So first I'm going to start with the illusions and then I will move towards the reality and then I might take, well, I will probably take some songs for you. At least this is what I had planned. But we'll see how things are going to go. Okay. So, please Spirit, give us information. What are the illusions within this connection? <clears throat> what are the illusions within this connection? What is the thing that comes as an illusion in this connection for those who chose the dragonfly we have the ordin ordinariness and we have the dream in the bottom of the deck we have aloneness okay this is very interesting because we have the ordinariness and under it we have the dream the dream wants to indicate some kind of a lonely energy it's like um, I'm asking about illusion and uh, here I feel like somebody is in some kind of illusion because you can see that dreamy energy. Somebody here is dreaming about uh, having a perfect companion, someone that uh, is, is being there for you, giving you their support and feeling their support. And climbing from this card towards the ordinariness it's like 
Well, what I'm feeling here is that somebody indeed wants to just um, have some kind of simple life, have some kind of peace with the person that is on your mind. I don't know if this is you or if this is your person since I'm asking about the connection itself. But what I'm feeling here as an illusion is that somebody was like dreaming about this, dreaming about having a simple life and having somebody to support you, somebody that is there for you and you are feeling complete with that person. And having the aloneness card in the bottom of the deck, it wants to indicate that somebody within this connection is going a bit more inwards, somebody is isolating themselves, somebody is choosing deliberately to be on their own. It's um, not like separation, but somebody is uh, a bit pulling back and uh, trying to reflect, trying to gain some kind of enlightenment and uh, trying to just um, just uh, get some kind of knowledge. Okay, let's keep moving forward and see what else we are going to get. Please, Spirit, give us more information. Please uh, tell us what else we need to know regarding the illusions within this connection. What are the illusions within this connection? We have the ripeness. And we have conditioning. Okay. In the bottom of the deck we have the rebirth. This is very interesting because we have two lions here. Maybe somebody here has the Leo sign. It could be possible. But uh, about reading itself, here we have uh, ripeness, which comes after the ordinariness. It's like 8, 9. So what I'm getting as an illusion here is that somebody within this connection is... Somebody is not seeing things clearly because here we have a lion that thinks that, that he is a sheep because it is all due to conditioning. It's like having a lion who has grown with the sheep and believing that the lion is a sheep. So once the lion sees his reflection in the water, he realizes that he is actually a lion, not a sheep. So. With this condition in card, I feel like uh, there are some kind of outside factors that are influencing this connection. Like maybe society or families or expectations or how you present yourself in society. These are all factors that are somehow affecting this connection and um, pretty much uh, making things seem a bit uh, unclear making things seem a bit uh, a bit fake, a bit, a bit superficial. And moving from conditioning towards a ripeness, well, here what I'm feeling is that uh, the ripeness cards want to indicate that something has reached maturity and something is ready to something is ready to be separated or just go on its own way because here we have that apple that is fallen from the tree. I'm not sure if it's an apple or whatever fruit it is, but it is ripe already, so... This might want to indicate that here somebody has the illusion that... Um, that this connection is ripe enough, this connection has um, reached its maturity. But uh, what I'm feeling actually from these two cards combined is that here somebody is... Um, very much, pretty much concerned about the opinion of other people. Somebody here is listening a lot to what other people are saying. And uh, this is influencing a lot the connection in general. This is one of the illusions here because somebody here is being influenced by other people. Somebody cares a lot about what uh, society or people would say or maybe even their family or people close by. And having the rebirth card... <clears throat> apologies, my voice today is terrible. Having the rebirth card... Uh, well, 
with the rebirth card we have uh, stages we have stages of growth we have camel we have lion and we have a child so having this card appearing in in illusion section asking about illusions what i'm feeling is that um, maybe within this connection somebody is um, discovering themselves or or maybe somebody has a hard time to discover who they are because I asked about illusion and this is a general message with the rebirth normally I mean with the card you can see that the camel is moving towards the lion and the lion is moving towards the child this is all something like an evolution and having this in the illusion section uh, regarding illusion question what I'm feeling is that um, it wants to indicate that maybe here somebody is not being able to grow or maybe somebody here is not able to transform and gain some kind of experience because we also have the ripeness card which also has something to do with maturity with uh, gaining experience or just uh, being emotionally mature enough all right let's keep moving please spirit give us more information what we need to know regarding the illusions within this connection. What we need to know regarding the illusions within this connection. We have integration. We have adventure. And we have clinging to past. Okay. So, with the adventure card and above it having the integration. Mm. Well, what I'm feeling here from the adventure card is that somebody within this connection is uh, just uh, ready to take some kind of step towards the unknown. Because here we have a child that is just standing in front of the unknown that is moving forward on its own. And talking about child, again, I feel something regarding maturity, immaturity, something like this within this connection. Someone, well, there might be age difference, but uh, not only the age difference, but the way you think also. I mean, there might be some kind of a difference between the ways you think and somebody might, might, might be more mature than the other person. But here we have a child that is standing in front of some kind of magical lights. And it's ready to discover, ready to join in some kind of adventure. It's like um, the cards wants to say that this child is walking towards wonders of the universe. It is walking towards integration because here with the integration card, we have all the elements that are mixing together, all the elements that are just combining. And it seems like um, there is some kind of balance so within this connection what i'm feeling is that uh, somebody is uh, trying to find their balance somebody is uh, ready to ready to take some kind of a new steps ready to go in the unknown in order to find some kind of balance and we have in the bottom the clinging to the past cards which literally shows a woman that has her head in a box and it's like she's not seen anything besides in that box so again here i'm sensing somebody that is like um, stuck in something somebody that is either looking in the past or caring too much about what other people would say but i mean literally having a box on your head and not seeing beyond that box it's like i'm sensing two different energies within this connection one energy that i'm sensing is somebody that is a bit more adventurous somebody that is a bit more open to new things as we see here in this card somebody that is uh, willing to find some kind of balance to find some kind of uh, middle road in order to keep the peace within this connection while well, there is another, the, the other energy that I'm sensing is of somebody that is a bit more biased, somebody that cares a lot about what other people think, 
and um, not completely mature or ready to to be themselves, ready to accept themselves the way they are. And also having this card clinging to the past, also somebody that is having their head in a box, literally like not seeing beyond that box, having some kind of uh, limiting beliefs, limiting thoughts. And these might be the illusions within this connection. This might be the things that um, maybe you have difficulty to see or maybe your partner is not able to discover on their own that they are stuck in some kind of um, some kind of a past moment or some kind of a box which is limiting them literally all right let's keep moving now i'm going to take a look at the reality between you and your person just going to reshuffle like this Okay, so please Spirit, give us information what we need to know regarding the reality between the person who is watching this and the one who is on their mind. What we need to know about the reality. What is the reality between them? We have sharing. We have clinging to the past. And we have postponements. Okay. It is very interesting because here again I'm sensing two different energies. Because the sharing card is representing the Queen of Wands. We see a generous woman that is ready to share her food, ready to share, happy to share, not just ready to share, but happy to share, happy to. We, well, in general, we have an open person, someone who is open to give, open to receive, open to new things. While the other person here, as you can see, clinging to the past, the card came for a second time and the other person here is a bit closed. Literally, this person has their head in a box and they don't see anything beyond that box. They only see the images that are in the box. So it's like... If I have to describe this uh, in astrology, I would say we have Jupiter and Saturn. Somebody here is like Jupiter expanding, giving, while the other person is uh, like Saturn, restricting, having limits. And in the bottom of the deck, we have the postponement cards. And yeah, it's like, again, seeing things a bit black and white because we have an image a image that is depicted here from the overall scenery and somebody can see that image but at the same time the card is like gray so again i'm sensing in reality here the the way you see things the way you your points of view with that person, I feel like there is a huge difference. Because again, I'm sensing two different things. I'm sensing that somebody is seeing things in colors while the other person is seeing things black and white. Not literally, but uh, I mean figuratively said, somebody is seeing the world from a different way. In a, I mean, you have different points of view here. All right. Let's keep moving. Please, Spirit, give us more information. What we need to know, what we need to know regarding the reality in pile number one. What we need to know the reality between the people who are watching this and the one that is in their mind. We have guidance. And we have isolation. And in the bottom we have completion. Okay. It is very interesting. It's like... Uh, 
Well, we have two cards that are starting with the number three. And uh, again, here I'm sensing that somebody's feeling isolated. Sorry for the interruption, somebody just came home. So what I wanted to say is that here we have somebody that is a bit more isolated with the isolation card. Somebody's feeling lonely. It's like, um, well, again, it's like two different energies because this is similar to this and this is pretty much more, well, this is more identified with this. So having the isolation card, I'm feeling that somebody within this connection is feeling like they are stuck, feeling that um, they are frozen just like this man. And the only thing that can help this person get out from this ice ice uh, trap is uh, those warm tears that are melting the ice so yeah here somebody's like stuck just like in this card well on top of this card we have guidance and we have somebody that is calling angelic powers somebody that is calling into their angels their guardians so having the guidance card it wants to indicate that well, somebody is like a bit more spiritual within this connection. Somebody is relying on uh, more spiritual things and somebody is uh, like more aligned with their spiritual self. So it's like um, having two people, somebody that is completely stuck within some kind of a situation or not being able to deal with their emotional, well, with their emotional world. And then we have someone else that uh, is um, a bit more spiritual and seeking for guidance. If we, if I have to, if I have to make one one uh, bridge between these two cards, I would say that maybe somebody here is uh, feeling stuck and is asking for guidance from higher being, asking for guidance from their angels in order to help them out in order to find a way and in the bottom of the deck we have the completion card which wants to indicate that uh, well we have a puzzle here and with the puzzle what I'm feeling is that uh, things are falling into place things are falling into place so whatever is happening within this connection I feel that uh, well, regardless of anything, you are going to know the answers that you're supposed to know and everything is going to fall in its own place, no matter what is going on at the moment. But the picture will become clearer. Having this card in the bottom of the deck wants to indicate that this is a general energy. So whatever is going on, it is supposed to go that way. It is part of a plan and having this puzzle is confirming it. Because here this person is putting the last part of the puzzle, which might want to indicate that uh, something within this connection is coming to completion. You are about to, soon I think, you are about to realize that, um, well, the things that should you are supposed to realize from this connection and something will come to completion here. All right, let's take, whoops. Let's take one last pair of cards. Please, Spirit, give us some more information regarding the reality between well, um, between the people who are watching this and the one that is on their mind. What we need to know regarding the reality of the people who are watching this and the one that they're, that is on their mind. What we need to know. We have going with the flow, flowering, and friendliness. Okay, just going to pull the cards a bit. So, having the going with the flow card wants to indicate that uh, I feel like you pretty much accepted the things that uh, the way they are for this connection because we have going with the flow card and. Indeed, here we have someone that, someone that is uh, deep underwater, which wants to indicate someone that is, uh, well, maybe 
maybe there were too, too, too much emotions here. Maybe the emotions were too strong within this connection and uh, somebody decided just to let those emotions go and uh, go with the flow. And actually it doesn't feel bad. It feels like somebody within this connection is learning to take things easier, to not get uh, emotionally uh, damaged within this connection or just letting the emotions pass, letting things pass, letting things go without um, without having any anger issues or without having any kind of, um, well, without letting any kind of emotions to affect you. And having the flowering card wants to confirm it that uh, something is going in a good way because having the flowering card usually wants to indicate that something is finding a balance, something is coming to fruition. So I feel like within this connection, somebody is going to discover way to deal with things, way to deal with emotions, the way to deal with feelings. And that way is going with the flow, just flowing with the feelings, flowing with the emotions and flowing with everything. So even in this card, we have water, which has something to do with emotions. And the flowers in general wants to indicate some kind of a positivity. So it's like within this connection, in reality, somebody is actually growing. Somebody is mature and somebody is learning to go with the flow. And in the bottom of the deck, we have the friendliness card. Whoops. Well, this card is indicating two of cups in classic tarot. But within this tarot, we have two trees which have um, which have their roots placed in separate I mean their roots are separate they have their own roots but their crowns are making connection so this might indicate some kind of a different background different understandings different uh, perceptions different points of view but um, finding some kind of a balance finding some kind of uh, midpoint where you can uh, where you can just uh, make compromises or just make things work without having arguments or anything. It's like understanding each other's differences, being tolerant with each other's differences and finding the midpoint where you can get on. So this came as a general energy for your reality within this person. So there is some kind of a potential that things might be worked out, things might... Um, find some kind of a balance but regardless of anything I feel like even though there might be differences with this person there is something that can hold you together and uh, I feel like you can just um, you can just set away your differences and find something that can unite you find something that can hold you together so these are the messages from the tarot I will just um, take some songs for you and see which songs you are going to get. I'm doing it like this so they can shuffle good. So the first song is Charlie Puts. We don't talk anymore. <laughs> okay, so the song is saying clearly that you don't talk anymore like you used to do mm. and yeah maybe some of you are not in contact with this person maybe some of you indeed uh, there is no communication at all but what I felt from the card is that you might be quite different with this person but still there is a room for some kind of a friendly energy there is a room for like making peace because we have the friendliness card so regardless of anything, I think there is potential that you can make things uh, at least some kind of a friendly kind of connection with this person. Regardless of what has happened between you two. At least this is what I felt from the cards. I just felt differences. And then we have Kelly Clarkson, Since You've Been Gone. Well, this song is saying, since you've been gone, I can breathe for the first time. So maybe it wants to indicate that here, in order for things to be okay, there 
there is necessity to give each other some kind of space. There is necessity to just uh, keep some kind of a distance, some kind of a healthy distance from each other, at least for a little bit, until things are settled, until uh, like uh, you can each reflect on your situations and uh, just come back with some kind of a more clear mindset. All right, let's take one more song. <laughs> we have Ariana Grande. We can't be friends. <laughs> okay, this is pretty much denying anything that I have said until now. Well, the title is saying we can't be friends, but as much as I remember the song itself, it was saying I'll wait for your love. So maybe some of you cannot be friends because there are still feelings and emotions for each other and there are still things that you need to figure out that are beyond the friendship we'll just put the song here and let's take one last song And the last song is Olivia Rodrigo, Deja Vu. Okay, so this song has something to do with um, past experiences. And we got the card clinging to the past multiple times, two times. So maybe somebody here is getting Deja Vu. Maybe somebody has something, um, something in this connection is reminding of past connections either to you or to your person. But as much as I remember the song she was singing, in the lyrics she was saying, do you get deja vu when she's with you? Or something like that. This might be relevant for some of you. But yeah, well, just uh, take the messages as they resonate for your situation. Keep it in mind that this is a collective tarot, so maybe not everything is completely resonating for your situation. So that was it. If you enjoyed the reading, if you find the messages valuable, please don't hesitate to hit the like button so more people can reach them and uh, yeah, it can give some kind of guidance to more people. And feel free to subscribe to my channel because your support is really precious for me and it's helping me grow. So yeah, that was it. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for your attention. And I hope to see you again. Wish you a lovely rest of the day. Bye. Hello there, Paul number two, for those of you who chose the Stingray. And what I'm feeling from the Stingray is that, um, well, as I've mentioned before, when this card comes up, I'm sensing someone that is gaining confidence, someone that is working on themselves, someone that is um, like working on their chakras because here we have all the colors of the chakras. It's like somebody's finding their way, somebody's finding uh, who they are, somebody's uh, in some kind of self-realization, some kind of self-discovery on that kind of a journey. This is the energy that I'm feeling from the Stingray. And let's see what we are going to find out regarding the illusions and the reality in this connection. So I will first start with the illusions, but just small disclaimer, please don't shoot the messenger because in the previous spell things were a bit more intense. So I will just say the things I see, but keep it in mind that this is a collective reading, so maybe not everything is going to resonate exactly the same way. So let's start with the illusions. First, I'm going to reshuffle good in order to cleanse a bit the energies of the deck. Oops. Okay. So, please, Spirit, give us information. What are the illusions within this connection? What is perceived as illusion within this connection? Celebration. Aloneness. And in the bottom of the deck we have traveling. Okay, 
pile number two. Uh, what I'm getting here as an illusion is... Uh, well, it actually came very interesting. Uh, I don't know how to say the messages the way they are because here I sense some kind of three different messages that I need to translate to you. Let's start with the aloneness itself. Somebody here might be feeling that they are on some kind of a lonely journey within this connection and uh, this might be perceived as illusion because here we have the card aloneness which is similar to the hermit card. And I sense similar energy with the traveling card that is in the bottom of the deck, which is also like traveling towards something, moving towards something. Here also we have someone that is moving towards some kind of enlightenment. And uh, yeah, what I'm feeling here from these two cards, since they came as an illusion, there might be some kind of movement within this connection that is like illusion. I don't know how to say it, but uh, we also have the three of uh, three of cups. I was going to say, but this is the three of cups in the traditional tarot. This is a celebration card um, in this tarot depiction, and here we have three girls that are dancing in the rain, without caring about the weather, without caring about anything, just dancing and enjoying themselves. So it's like here we have two opposite energies. In one energy we have someone that wants to dance, to be happy, to just, to, might, might be preferring a bit more social environment. While in this card we have someone that is a bit more, uh, a bit more introvert, someone that is focused more towards themselves, someone that is more, someone that is focused in self, um, discovery in enlightenment someone that is preferring time alone and having these cards placed together it's like there is some kind of a clash between these two energies because they are quite opposite i cannot imagine someone going from introvert to an extrovert or or maybe this is the illusion, maybe somebody here within this connection is appearing more introvert but actually they are a bit more extrovert and they are a bit more superficial because here we have a bit more superficial energy with the celebration card. Another thing that comes to my mind, since this is a collective reading, we have, um, we have the three of cups energy here, which in some cases it might indicate some kind of a third party situation and having this in the illusion might indicate that somebody here might be doubting that there is a third party but actually there isn't a third party situation this also could be the case because here we have the aloneness and here we have the, the celebration card but the overall illusion that i'm sensing here is that there is some kind of a journey that you think you are on that journey but Actually, you are not moving on that journey. This comes as an illusion because we have the traveling card and it's in the bottom of the deck and it's general energy. And it came when I asked about illusions within this connection. Maybe you are thinking that this connection is moving towards something that it's actually not moving. And yeah, let's take some more cards. I warned you that I will be brutally honest, but I'm just saying what comes with the cards, what I feel. We have the inner voice, okay. Let's get more about this. Please, Spirit, give us more information regarding the inner voice. Harmony and the miser in the bottom of the deck. If you noticed, I forgot to ask a question of the deck while I was shuffling and one card came on its own because it wanted to make appearance here and the other cards, well the other card I just pull and we have a card in the bottom of the deck and I would just read the energy because I feel like these cards are pretty much wanting to say something to you regarding this connection. So we have the inner voice which wants to indicate to you going within, 
listening to your intuition because your intuition is saying something important to you within this connection. Your intuition wants to lead you towards something. And under this card we have the harmony. It's like, this is something like an advice actually for you. Because with the harmony card, this is 10 of cups card in the traditional tarot. And here we have a boy or a girl, I'm not sure. It doesn't matter actually. And we have two dolphins as well. Actually, in both cards, we have dolphins, which is very interesting because the dolphins are quite sensitive, quite uh, telepathic kind of uh, animals. They are, yeah, there is some kind of sensitivity here. And the card harmony wants to say also we have, uh, in, we have emphasis on the heart chakra because they are like coming from the heart. They are coming from some kind of a soft space. So... This wants to indicate that uh, maybe somebody here within this connection might be a bit more sensitive. Maybe somebody here within this connection might be a bit more, well, let's say, a bit more trusting. And uh, the card is saying to you here, listen to your intuition. But uh, yeah. The overall energy here that I'm feeling with these two cards is some kind of a water energy, energy of sensitivity, energy of um, intuition. So the cards are literally leading you towards your intuition. The cards literally want to say to you, just trust your inner feelings. Trust that inner voice that you might be hearing regarding this connection. And in the bottom of the deck, we have the Miser. The Miser is four of pentacles energy. Here we have an old lady that is holding all her things and not letting them go. She's like holding on to something. And the more she's like holding on, the worse things get for her. It's like she's all wrinkled because she has been holding on so hard on things rather than just be free, let go and surrender. She's holding on to things and that's why she's like, like not letting the energies move freely. So this might indicate something regarding this connection that maybe there is something that you need to let go in order to let things a bit breathe, in order to let things a bit be more freely flow in a free manner. Because, I mean, you can see this lady she's like looking at us with one eye and what i'm sensing from her is like she's asking you a question do you want to be like me to hold on to something so dearly or do you want to be like this card here the harmony where you can see that this person here is breathing freely and everything is flowing in a free manner so i feel like these two cards are like quite well they're opposite energies they are showing you different scenarios that you can choose yourself whether to hold on to something dearly and get yourself uh, like in some kind of stagnant energies that are not allowing things to flow or choose to let go and surrender to universe and live in harmony okay let's keep going on with the illusions because we are not done with the illusions yet. Please, Spirit, give us more information. What is the illu what, what are the illusions regarding this connection? What we need to know is illusions regarding this connection. We have the isolation. We have we are the world. And we have possibilities in the bottom of the deck. Okay. Pile number two, your cards are coming really interesting because again, we have two opposite energies because the isolation card is the absolute opposite of the we are the world card. Climbing from we are the world to isolation, it's, it's actually like like a lift because here we are climbing from introvert energy to extrovert energy and here we are climbing from extrovert energy towards more introvert energy 
but I feel like there is more emphasis here because this is something like a major arcana. No, actually it's not a major arcana, it's uh, representing the clouds, the swords within this deck. So there isn't that much an emphasis, it's just there is something like a lift that is going up and down here. And it is perceived as an illusion for this connection. I don't know how it's going to resonate for you, but this is the thing that the cards are indicating. So we have We Are The World card and the Isolation card. I feel like here somebody, somebody is uh, like, maybe somebody is not showing their true colors. Somebody's appearing a bit more extrovert. Somebody's appearing like they are people with connection. They are, yeah, they are people with connections. They are people with uh, power. They are, they are connected with the world. They are connected with everyone. They are communicating with many people. They have a big environment they have big society around them but deep down they are feeling lonely because we have the isolation card and here in the isolation card you can see that we have a man that is like completely frozen in some kind of a crystal and the only thing that can help him get out from this frozen environment are the warm tears the heart which is somewhere there that is frozen but only the warm tears can set free this man from its ice isolation <laughs> and in the bottom of the deck we have the possibilities card which again wants to indicate that there are some kind of options here it's just somebody within this connection needs to see things from a higher perspective needs to be like this eagle fly up high and see things from up above not uh, zoom into details zoom out in order to see things good because literally here we have the world card and it's like this ego is flying above and seeing the world from far away in order to see good the whole picture not just small element so yeah as an illusion I sense here some kind of opposite energy someone might be appearing like um, like extrovert someone might be appearing um, that they have a lot of connections but at the same time they might be very lonely because we have a loneliness card we have isolation it's like these two cards have similar energies and these two cards have similar energies too but it's like constantly changing and it is a bit confusing, but this came as an illusion. Okay, so now that we saw some of the illusion, let's focus on reality and see what messages we are going to get for the reality in this connection. What are the real things in this connection? I'm just going to reshuffle the deck in order to just keep the energies flowing. Please, Spirit, give us information. What is the reality within this connection? What we need to know regarding the reality within this connection? We have clinging to the past. Okay. We have compromise. And in the bottom of the deck, we have friendliness. Okay. So, we have clinging to the past. Mm. Here we have somebody that is not letting go past energies. Somebody that is not letting the energies flow freely, just like we saw from the miser. Someone is like placing their head in some kind of box full of past experiences and not what, wanting to face the present or face the, face the reality. Actually, this is the thing here. With this card, I feel like as a reality, somebody here doesn't want to see things the way they are. Somebody just doesn't want to face the facts. Somebody wants to just um, put some kind of um, past 
good experiences and just cling to them. And we have the compromise card, which um, actually we are climbing from the compromise to the clinging to the past. And the compromise card wants to indicate some kind of settling with something less than you deserve or in general it might want to indicate that you are compromising something or well you can see on the faces of these two people that they are not happy they have promised each other something but they are not happy because they are like with their small fingers they are like this it's like they are holding each other but they are not happy they are clinging to some kind of a past experience in the present i sense some kind of unhappiness I sense settling for something less than what you want because we have a compromise and in the bottom of the deck we have the friendliness card which wants to indicate well this card is related with two of cups in classic tarot and it just wants to indicate some kind of a good connection some kind of good relationship or some kind of good um, understanding of each other because here we have two different trees they have different colors and uh, they both have their own roots in the ground but they're making contact they are like their branches are making contract con contact and even the leaves here are like mixing colors because they are so close to each other so in reality, there might be some kind of a good contact within this connection or there might be potential for good contact here as a general energy, but there is a lot clinging to the past and compromising. Okay, let's keep going. Please spirit, give us more information. What we need to know more regarding the reality within this connection what we need to know more regarding the reality within this connection playfulness and moment to moments in the bottom we have experiencing okay it's interesting i was just looking at the cards so we have a playfulness card and moment to moment it's like in reality here i feel like somebody within this connection is taking things a bit slow somebody is like jumping from stone to stone as you can see in this card and the water is a bit mysterious because we have rainbow colors so in both cards actually well, this person doesn't look that much like a clown, but the way it is, he is depicted, there is, I mean, the lips a bit are a bit like clown-like in those eyebrows. And here we have a clown. And in both cards, we have somebody that is jumping around. So I am sensing as a reality, some kind of uh, playfulness energy in general here. Someone that is playing around and is jumping on tippy toes jumping on tippy toes from stone to stone moment to moment not um, well somebody that is uh, careful to not uh, stir up the situation someone that is trying to stay in a bit more gentle not gentle but in a bit more light energies in order to not get things too serious and here with the playfulness card, indeed, we have a clown that doesn't care about um, expectations, doesn't care about um, what people want from this clown. The clown is just enjoying himself or herself. I think it's himself. I'm not sure. It doesn't matter, actually. So, yeah, indeed, here I'm sensing a bit more light energies as a reality somebody here is trying to be a bit more playful a bit more like um, stepping on stones stepping on tippy toes in order to not uh, go too deep in order to not fall into the deep and in the bottom of the deck we have the experiencing card 
which might want to indicate that somebody here still needs to experience things, somebody here still needs to learn things regarding this connection. Because we also have the stingray, which in the beginning I told you that somebody here is doing some kind of self-reflection, somebody's uh, growing, somebody's um, growing spine or aligning the chakras. And even here we have this rainbow color like thing under his um, under his cloak. So experiencing, I mean, this person here is hugging a tree, literally. So it's like somebody here within this connection needs to like experience everything, sense everything and just get the experience out of it in order to grow. So having this clowns the clown here and this card i'm feeling that somebody here within this connection really needs to grow somebody needs to gain more experience this might be the main message for the reality that somebody here is not experienced enough and they need to gain that experience which is similar with the stingray message Okay, let's take the last pair of the card of cards and see what we are going to get for the reality from this. Please, spirit, give us more information. What we need to know about the reality from this connection. What we need to know regarding the reality of this connection. Okay. They were fallen. We have stress. And we have laziness and we have minds. <laughs> okay. So, pile number two. A lot of opposite energies here. A lot of opposite energies. Even for the illusions, the energies were quite opposite. So, here we have the card stress. Somebody that is putting a lot of efforts. Somebody that is like trying to do everything, trying to juggle everything on their own, literally working for a monkey, because the monkey can just burst that bubble and the person can fall and everything can just fall on top of that person. So within this connection, I feel like somebody is trying to do everything on their own, while the other person, you can see with the laziness card, they are just chilling and enjoying themselves. This could be the two opposite energies here between you two. One of them might represent you, the other one might represent your person. Or they might be, there might be something in between those two energies for the connection in general. I can't, well, I can't quite bridge those two cards because they are completely opposite energies. I sense two opposite people here because we have laziness and we have stress we have somebody that is doing everything and we have somebody that is just chilling and doing nothing literally and in the bottom of the deck we have the mind card which is not a pretty card to have in the bottom of the deck but it's like this is something that um, a mind puts us through because a mind usually can get us through many things the mind just gets us stressed out like you can see in this stress card so the mind is not ugly is not pretty the mind is actually quite ugly because it can lead to many 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 assumptions to many thoughts so listening to the mind can lead to some kind of not pretty pictures and this card is indicating it as a general energy so i feel like this card is a, is coming as a warning as a general energy that maybe somebody here within this connection is listening too much to their mind and to the thoughts that they're in their head and it is time to let go of those thoughts it is time to free your mind and like it was singing it was saying in a song free your mind and the rest will follow so this is something like an advice for you just let go of that mind because the assumptions that the mind is bringing within this connection are not pretty as you can see from this card and yeah 
maybe you can just try to practice mindfulness by by looking at your thoughts but not engaging yourself with those thoughts there are many practices and meditation as well that can help with this but having the mind card wants to indicate that here in this connection we have somebody that is operating from mind listening to the voices of the mind not the voices of the intuition not the voice of the soul so this was with the tarot i will take some songs for you just like i did with spell number one and see how they are resonating with your connection let's see which songs you are going to get the first song you are getting is let me see justin timberlake mirrors okay well this song is uh, singing about a perfect mirror when you look at someone you see yourself and regarding what we saw from the tarot we indeed saw a mirror we saw a mirror because there were two opposite energies it's like when you look at the reflection you are seeing some kind of an opposite energy because we had the stress we had the laziness we had the aloneness we had the celebration Let's take more songs. Kelly Clarkson, since you've been gone. Well, the song is saying, since you've been gone, I can breathe for the first time. Maybe somebody here definitely needs to like um, give space to this connection. Somebody might be suffocating the thing. Somebody might be trying to control things too much and they need to just chill, just Breathe in, breathe out, and chill. Let things happen on their own. Let go of the mind, because the mind is not a friend. The mind can lead you to so many assumptions that are not pretty, as you can see in this card. Okay, let's take some more songs. <laughs> we have Destiny's Child, Say My Name. So... From this song, I'm feeling some kind of confirmation like Say my name, say my name. If no one is around you, say baby I love you. If you end running game. So, well this might indicate some kind of a third party situation because at least this is what they are singing in the song. But it might just want to indicate some kind of confirmation that somebody needs confirmation from their person that, that they love them. They just need to hear it. Okay, let's take more songs. Actually, one more. Let's take one last song for you. And your last song is Avril Lavigne, My Happy Ending. Mm. All this time that you've been pretending so much for my happy ending. So... It's like here somebody was looking for their happy ending, somebody was looking for their forever partner, but it's like things were not going that good or things were going in some kind of a different direction or things might change. This is just the energy that the tarot indicated, but at least at the moment there are things that need to be settled down because we have a lot of opposite energies and we have somebody that is like holding on too much to things somebody that is like holding on to their mind and need to let go of this, this mind so these were your messages pile number two if you enjoyed the reading if you find the messages valuable please don't hesitate to hit the like button so more people can reach the reading and find the messages for their situations and feel free to subscribe to my channel because your support is really precious and I appreciate every single one of my subscribers. So thank you very much for your time. Thank you for your attention. And I hope to see you again. Wish you a lovely rest of the day. Bye. So last but not least, we have the tiger. And the tiger in this uh, deck is a bit more secretive. The tiger in this deck is hunting during the night. It has fire energy, so it is active, but active during the night. It even has crescent moon on its forehead. And it's a bit secretive, it's like hunting. There is some kind of secretive energy from this tiger. 
because it is hunting during the night when everyone else is sleeping. So let's put the tiger aside and take tarot cards and see what we are going to get regarding this connection. Just to keep, keep a, a note, I just want to say to you, please don't shoot the messenger if the messages are coming a bit more rough. I'm honest, but at the same time, yeah, the messages are a bit confusing here and uh, at least for the, the other two pals, the messages were a bit, um, a bit interesting, let's say. So just keep it in mind that this is a collective reading and not everything might resonate with your situation. Let's shuffle, reshuffle the deck and see what we are going to get. Okay. So let's start with the illusions. So please spirit, give us information. What we need to know regarding the illusions in this connection? What are the illusions in this connection? We have the lovers, okay. We have the aloneness. And we have the trust card in the bottom of the deck. Okay, <laughs> this came very interesting, pal number three. Because we have the lovers as illusion, not as reality. And we have aloneness again as illusion. And we have the trust card in the bottom of the deck as illusion. So, yeah, as a general energy here, I'm sensing a bit mistrust, but mistrust in a way that somebody within this uh, connection is not trusting enough the connection itself in order to jump freely like this girl is doing in this card. And it's like somebody within this connection is not trusting enough the universe or that things will work out for the best uh, possible outcome. And this comes as a general energy. And uh, yeah. Or maybe, yeah, since we are talking about illusion, the trusting and the illusion might be a bit like, uh, a bit intervening between each other. So let's proceed, let's move towards the cards that uh, just came out. We have the lover's card, we have, um, we have that uh, uh, multiple triangles here, we have a heart, we have roses, we have passion, and under this card we have aloneness, someone that is pulling back. So it is quite interesting energy because it feels a bit opposing because we have a card that's representing a bit more hermit kind of energy, someone that is a bit more pulled back. But at the same time, we have the lover's energy, which is indicating passion and uh, feelings. So this might be perceived as an illusion. Maybe somebody here is like um, appearing a bit more pulled back while they are having feelings and emotions within this connection. Or it might indicate that someone is a bit more pulled back, but is demonstrating some kind of feelings, either one or the other, which is very interesting. And the fact that we have the trust card perceived as an illusion, it's like, it's like someone here is not sure which way things are going to go. Someone here is uh, having doubts about this connection. Okay, let's keep going and finding out more. Please, Spirit, give us more information regarding the illusions in this connection. What else we need to know regarding the illusions within this connection? What else we need to know regarding the illusions within this connection? The source and the isolation and in the bottom we have traveling okay this is very interesting because again we have opposing cards we have fire and ice in the bottom of the i mean not in the bottom uh 
under the this card we have a card that is again indicating some kind of isolation both of these cards are indicating isolation and here we have the source which is indicating that the beginning of something something that has creative power something that has inspiration in order to create so it is quite confusing to have these two opposite energies they might indicate two opposite people people that are well maybe somebody within this connection especially having the isolation here we have a man that is stacking icicle cube and the only thing that is going to help this man escape the only thing that is going to melt that ice are the tears of this person that is feeling isolated and on the other hand we have some kind of a solar power because this card reminds me a lot to the sun it has all those energies to the lower chakras like it has root chakra sacral chakra and solar plexus chakra all those energies that are expressing some kind of creativity some kind of bravery courage uh, desire to move forward it has firepower so it is really interesting having these two cards as an illusion i feel like here within this connection somebody's feeling a bit trapped Somebody's feeling that um, maybe somebody has strong feelings but they are not able to express those feelings and they are feeling lonely. This might be the illusion here. But also in the bottom of the deck we have traveling cards and with the traveling card we have some kind of a direction. We have way towards the sun. Even in this card we have a sun which is leading towards some kind of positivity. And we had so many cards, actually, not so many cards, but we had the trust card, which also wants to indicate that somebody is not sure which way things are going. And here with the traveling card, the message I'm sensing is quite similar. It's like, there is a road ahead of you, but it's like, there are a lot of clouds. And you are not sure which way you are going in this road in order to reach the sun. And another thing is that here in, we have two people that want to be isolated. I mean, two cards that are indicating some kind of isolation, some kind of pullback energy. And two cards that are indicating a bit more passion energy. energy. Here we have fire energy, here we have love energy. So, it is... A bit confusing to me because usually moving from this card to this card there has to be some kind of a bridge between them and here I don't sense a bridge I sense two opposite energies it's like somebody is fire while the other person is water or ice somebody is hot while the other person is cold and that's why maybe there is an illusion regarding which way things are going. But there are a lot of opposite energies here. Okay, let's take another pair of cards. Please, Spirit, give us more information. What we need to know regarding uh, the illusions within this connection. We have sharing. Please give us more information. What we need to know regarding the regarding the illusions within this connection. Minds. Okay. In the bottom we have rebel. Alright. This is very, very interesting pile number three because it's like on top are coming the good cards and in the bottom are coming the cards that are indicating a bit more lonely kind of energy because here we have the mind and as you can see the mind is not pretty at all because this is something that is created from all the thoughts that you or your person might be having in their mind and um, the only solution to save yourself from this mind is to let go of the thoughts to let the thoughts just pass by without engaging yourself with them without engaging yourself emotionally with them this is very important 
if you just let those thoughts pass, you are not going to get in the trap of the mind because here I sense actually it makes it makes sense. Somebody that is a bit more pulled back, I I definitely feel two different people here to distinguish it. We are talking about illusions. And maybe the illusion is that you are moving in the same direction. Maybe that's the illusion in this connection because you are like quite different and opposite energies because here we have someone that is being victim of their own mind. Someone that is feeling in prison of their own mind and they are feeling isolated. They are like crying literally. In this card you can see that this person is crying in order to defrost himself and they are choosing deliberately to be a bit more isolated while in the upper cards we have a lot more fire energy the lovers don't have fire energy they are associated with Gemini but we have the passion we have the heart we have love so we have someone that is expressing love while in the other in the other counterpart we have someone that is a bit more introvert and not expressing much and I didn't mention much about the sharing card, but sharing card is related with the Queen of Wands. And you can see how generous she looks. She is willing to share everything. She's willing to just um, offer something to anybody. She's having joy by sharing her food with other people. So, again, I mean, the energies are opposite. I, I mean, I feel like drawing a line between these cards because it's like here we have two different people. And in the bottom of the deck, we have the Rebel card. With the Rebel card, someone here has desire to break some kind of uh, chains. Someone, someone is willing to free themselves from something. Someone wants freedom. Someone wants things to be done in a more rebellious way. And also we have fire. Fire wants to indicate like some kind of passion, some kind of moving forward kind of energy. So literally here we have breaking of chains. And this is like a major arcana, which um, has strong emphasis. And actually we have several major arcanas. We have the lovers and we have the aloneness, which are major arcanas. And it's interesting enough that they both came together, like, one under another. And with the Rebel cards, I feel like here somebody wants to break some kind of chains, some kind of patterns. Something that is going on between you two as a pattern. Someone wants to break the habit, someone wants to break the pattern. Because I feel that things are not going in the same direction. Because the question was, what is the illusion? And two times we had cards that indicated trust. And there was free falling person that is trusting that is going to fall in the right place. And at the same time, there was a card that was indicating the road. So I feel like there is some kind of a pattern that needs to be broken in order for this to move in the right direction. All right, let's uh, see what is the reality since we saw their illusions. It became very interesting. I'm just going to reshuffle the deck in order to keep the energies flowing. All right. Please, Spirit, give us information. What is the reality in this connection? What we need to know about the reality in this connection? What is real in this connection? Mind. Okay. Creator. <laughs> in the bottom, we have the lovers. Okay. Well, this is actually not so bad. But not that good either, the message that I'm getting here. Because for pile number three, having the lovers for a second time, 
Lovers is a major arcana, and again, I'm sensing a lot of passion and attraction in this card. This wants to indicate that there is chemistry between you and this person. There is attraction. There might be feelings too. Definitely there is some kind of pull towards each other. But this is the good news. <laughs> Moving towards the bad news is that again here we have two opposite energies. Because we have again the mind and we have the creator which is like fiery energy. Which is king of, uh, king of wands. And this is more sort energy, like listening to the mind. Someone here is operating a lot from the mind. And what is interesting, <laughs> it just came to me. If you remember for the illusions, the cards that were indicating isolation and like mind power were down. And the cards that were indicating fire power were up. Now the roles are reversed since I'm asking about the reality. So, it is quite interesting. Maybe things are not the way we see them. Maybe things are a bit different than what we see. This is what I'm feeling. Because the roles here just changed when I asked about the reality. But indeed we have the creator, which is like creative power, creative energy. Which also has something to do with bravery, because we have the accent on the solar plexus chakra. We have the beautiful yellow color and a lot of fiery colors here in this card. And climbing from this card and going towards the mind, we have the confusions that are leading towards the mind. For the other cards, it was a bit difficult to make a bridge between them, because the energies were opposite, but here... If I have to make a bridge between these two cards and find a meaning between them, I feel like the combined meaning wants to say that um, from the creator, from using your creative energy and mixing it with the mind is just like um, causing confusions here. Maybe somebody within this connection has a lot of creative power, creative energy, but they are busy with their mind, they are too busy with their mind. And they are not listening to their intuition. But if I have to be honest, here again I sense two opposite energies. Two opposite energies that are being combined by the lovers, by passion, by feelings, by emotions, by attraction. But I sense two different people. Still there is uh, something that is holding you together. And... It's a good thing, but let's keep going and finding out more. Please, Spirit, give us more information. What? Okay. I will just keep this card here because it is different than what we got, what we have been getting until now, what we've been getting until now. I didn't ask the question yet. That's why I will keep this card. Maybe it has some kind of a significant meaning. I will just keep it. And the question is, what we need to know more regarding the reality within this connection? What we need to know more regarding this reality in this connection? We have awareness. And we have projections. Okay, now we are starting to get a bit more cups energy. And in the bottom of the deck we have consciousness. Okay, this is very interesting. So, starting off with the projections and moving towards awareness. It's like here within this connection, in this reality, someone is projecting something. It's like uh, we tend to project our fears, we tend to project our, our desires. We... We are connecting with people in so many different levels. But usually we tend to project something in other people. Something that is within us, we are projecting it in other people. So here in this card we have the projection and we have a man and a woman. Which is similar to the lover's card. But it's like uh, they are standing apart from each other. But their projections are getting closer. Their projections are... 
coming together. So again, I sense some kind of energy here of differences. There are differences, but also there is something that is pulling you together. And on top of this card, we have the awareness. So we have appearance of a woman from a flame or some kind of a white kind of flame or just some kind of a mystical flame and sword kind of energy and we have figure of a man that is trapped behind so from the awareness card i feel like here somebody's gaining awareness or somebody's literally might be upset uh, up obsessed here with thoughts somebody might be feeling like they are trapped in something and they cannot escape because it's like this image is standing behind the person and the person is feeling trapped the person cannot move forward it's like the person is on the background and this this appearance here is uh, on the foreground of the card and we have the consciousness card in the bottom of the deck which wants to indicate that as a general energy the advice for this connection is just to take things uh, in a bit more conscious manner to be a bit more Zen because literally here we have a Buddha statue and there is a lot of emphasis on the third eye chakra and also we got the receptivity card which wants to indicate that somebody needs to be open to receive somebody needs to be like somebody needs to empty their mind because we have the mind card for a second time Somebody literally needs to let go of this busy mind and be able to receive and in general to be able to reach that consciousness. Because here somebody is aware of something. Somebody is like thinking a lot about another person. It's like they are gaining some kind of awareness about this connection. But there is a lot of projections here. It's like there might be some kind of past traumas or some kind of experiences that are being projected on the other person which makes things quite complicated and difficult but the key for success in this is consciousness emptying your mind emptying your thoughts or just watching your thoughts be there without engaging yourself with them and turning this into practice in order to master it Mm, I don't know for which side this might be relevant, but yeah, I sense the necessity of somebody here to let go of their busy mind because their mind is not helping them. Their mind is taking them to different places that, that they are seeing things from a bit more ugly side. Okay, let's take one last pair of cards. Please, Spirit, give us... A bit more information what we need to know regarding the reality of this connection what is happening in reality within this connection what is actually happening we have the innocence and we have the possibilities under the innocence and in the bottom of the deck we have the integration okay i get the message now so we have major arcanas here actually for this connection we have several major arcanas i think in the previous uh in the previous um section with the cards we had three major arcanas here also we have three major arcanas which wants to indicate some kind of a strong emphasis here on this connection and starting off with the innocence card and the possibilities it's uh, it wants to say to you that with the possibilities here you can see that we have an eagle that is flying up high and seeing everything from high above without um, zooming into a specific thing when you are putting yourself up high you are seeing the whole picture you are not zooming in some specific object and taking it as um, the whole story so having the possibilities here might want to indicate that um, 
in order to see things clearly, somebody needs to place themselves somewhere far away from this or maybe needs to detach from this situation and uh, try to see things from a different angle in order to see the whole picture, in order to not focus on one specific thing. And climbing from this towards innocence, this is a major arcana which wants to indicate that, um, well, from this innocence card we have an old man that has gained a lot of experience. We have an old man that uh, has reached innocence himself by experience in life. And we have these gentle flowers. So I feel like this card wants to indicate some kind of a new beginning for this connection. But in order to have that new, new beginning, you need to pull yourself back and see things from a different perspective try to detach yourself from the mind from from the emotions from all the things that are making you like seeing things from specific angle i feel that the cards want to indicate that here in order for this connection to function in order for this connection to have future somebody needs to detach themselves and try to see things from a different angle Maybe make a bit uh, compromises or just, um, yeah, from the Innocence card I'm sensing that there is a chance for a new beginning for this connection and there is a chance things to start over again. And another thing is that we have the Integration card in the bottom of the deck which wants to indicate that things are being integrating. We have the yin-yang symbol, which wants to indicate feminine and masculine energies, light and darkness, joining together and finding balance, which is something we saw in this pile. In this pile, we saw a lot of opposite energies that are not balanced. And there is necessity for balance here. There is necessity to balance all the opposite energies. So this card is making a lot of sense for this reading for the reality of this reading because it just wants to set the whole tone of the reading it wants to i mean it's just one card but it shows pretty much everything that came until now until now we have two opposite things two opposite energies and in order for this to function those opposite main energies need to merge as a general energy they need to find balance between each other and since this card came, I feel like it has some kind of positive indication that this is about to happen, but in order for this to happen, there needs to be work, that, that, that there is work that needs to be done. Alright, well, just like I did with the previous piles, I will take some songs for you and see which songs uh, might resonate with your connection. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> bon Jovi, you give love a bad name. <laughs> okay, this is very interesting. I think this is the first time when I'm pulling this song. And I think the lyrics was like shot through the heart and you're to blame because you give love a bad name. <laughs> so this might be some kind of a result of those opposite energies between you and your person. Maybe you are like... Um, yeah, maybe there is some kind of tension between you two and maybe there are misunderstanding and these misunderstandings and maybe this is why we have this song. Mm, and the next song is Ed Sheeran, Eyes Closed. Okay. The lyrics of this song is, I'm dancing with my eyes closed, everywhere I look I still see you. So, even though there is some kind of a tension, there is some kind of a longing for each other as well. Let's see which song is going to come next. The songs are really interesting because they are like, <laughs> just like the cards that we got until now, we have like 
fire and ice we have fire and water it's like constant opposition and this song is ending bye 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 <laughs> so there isn't much more i can add to this song um, the lyrics was like i can't take no more no more lies i want to see you out the door baby bye 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 don't want to be a fool for you just another player in your game for two so yeah <laughs> It's like we have the Bon Jovi song with you give the love a, a you give a love a bad name. Then we have Ed Sheeran song which is like a bit more romantic and sensual, and then we get this one which is like saying bye bye bye. So it's really confusing. <laughs> it's like moving from one emotion to another emotion, jumping from one thing to another thing. But this is something that happens when we have busy minds because the mind is taking you to places. In order to free yourself from this, you need to free yourself from that mind that is taking you to different places. And just realize that the thoughts are thoughts. They are not something that is uh, determining your life. They are there, but they are just like a chatter that you need to... You need to acknowledge that it's there, but at the same time, not engage yourself with it. And the last song is Kesha, Your Love Is My Drug, <laughs> which is like a um, good song to close off this reading because, uh, yeah, I mean, what is on the title, Your Love Is My Drug, she's repeating it in the song's lyrics like multiple times, she's repeating like, Your Love Is My Drug. So from this song, literally, there is some kind of um, addictive behavior because we have like push and pull energy which causes like which can cause some kind of addictive uh, behavior addictive uh, attitude or just some kind of addictive energy all right pile number three this was quite interesting i don't know how it's going to resonate with your situation but i hope that all of you are listening to your intuition and getting the right messages for your situations so that was it if you enjoyed it please don't hesitate to hit the like button so more people can see this and benefit from the messages and also feel free to subscribe to my channel because your support is really really precious and i appreciate every single one of you that is subscribed to my channel and those of you who are not subscribed as well but still i would really love it if you subscribe so yeah that was it. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. And I hope to see you again. Wish you a lovely rest of the day. Bye.